or we're going to be palpating the muscle gracilis. So gracilis is uh, different from all of the other adductors for the fact that it actually crosses the knee. So as we go looking for another muscle in this adductor group, we are going to take the knee's action into account. So that's going to be really, really important. Um, I'm just going to show you that action well before we get into palpation. It is the only knee flexor as it's inserting into the proximal tibia at the pes anserine insertion site. So what we're actually going to get our person to do here is to drag the heel up towards her gluteals, or the second option is to dig the heel into the table. And I like that one a little bit better because it's getting uh, some resistance against that muscle. So let's relax. You can see that tone starting to go down. And as soon as they dig their heel in, we're getting some muscle tone change occurring right in this area. You can even see that fine outline of gracilis. Okay, and let's relax. So as we palpate, I'm going to look for adductor longus. I'm going to look for gracilis and compare the two. Um, and then we're going to go up towards the origin. So at this point, I'm going to have uh, my partner here border again like she's done in the previous kind of components she's taking her hand and just cupping genitalia out of the way for me so I can palpate everything below the hand I'm going to add some resistance onto the medial knee we're going to fire off the adductor longus which I'm on currently right now and then they're going to relax and now I'm going to ask her to dig her heel into the table and good right below where I was this is the gracilis muscle right here so adductor longus and brevis above and gracilis, which is technically the most superficial muscle of the adductor group, um, which means it should stick up on a lot of individuals, but uh, it can be a little bit tricky to find depending on the action that they're performing. Okay, I'm gonna follow this up. And as I work my way up towards the origin, I'm gonna be sinking in next to their hand. And I am feeling a bony structure here. I'm gonna get her to very gently start to dig her heel into the table. Good, and relax back down again. And let's do that one more time, dig the heel into the table. There's the lift of gracilis and relax, and my fingers go back down. So this is the anterior body of the pubis, as well as the inferior pubic ramus that I am currently on right in this area. Again, one more time, dig the heel, good, and relax, that's great. The muscle travels down superficially along the medial thigh. Can you dig your heel into that table? It is a strap, so it has a similar kind of shape and texture to a sartorius. And you can kind of feel a superficial strap muscle that travels down the medial aspect of the leg. And as we get really, really close to the knee here, sartorius actually goes over top of gracilis. So at the knee aspect, instead of using flexion, which is also a sartorius movement, I'm gonna ask her to turn over to a deduction by adding some resistance right here, good. And that's making this gracilis muscle stick up. Versus if she was to dig her heel in the table, I would be firing off semitendinosus, gracilis, and sartorius, the three muscles that all insert together. So that adduction will help me separate away from the other two. I'm gonna follow this past the knee joint and into what is known as the pes anserine insertion site. Now, preferably for myself, I like to call this PAM, the proximal anterior medial tibia. Um, it just helps me remember exactly where that location is versus the pes anserine insertion site. Just for uh, clerical, we'll take a look directly on at the tibia. So when you're looking for this insertion, I can see the tibial tuberosity in this area here. This is the medial condyle of the tibia. And so the pes anserine insertion site is just below the medial condyle on the shaft. Let's bring the leg back down here and I'm gonna add a little bit of resistance to the adduction. Good. So this is the last part of gracilis inserting right here on the tibia. This muscle is fairly complex in all of its actions. Um, because it crosses the knee, it is a flexor of the knee and it is on the medial aspect. So it does involve a little bit of a rolling, a medial rotation here of the tibia on femur. And then up in the thigh, it is going to be a major AD ductor and it does have some action of flexion as well. Again, depending on the source material you're reading, um, some will include some sort of a rotational component. Um, but I'm really going to be sticking with the flexion adduction and flexion medial rotation in the leg. So that is going to conclude our palpation of gracilis.